Object events are events used to manipulate objects. Some can be used with many objects, and some can only be used with specific objects. In this lesson, we'll talk about all of these. Let's start with the break event. This event can be used to break up any breakable object in the game, like explosives, wood boards, or break multiple glued objects apart. The info on each object in the object menu will tell you when the object is breakable or not. Let's open up the properties. The first property we are concerned with in here is select event targets. Use this to select the objects you'd like to break. Remember, you'll need an impulse to make this happen. If you're breaking multiple glued objects apart, you can set the glue group break force. This force is applied from the pivot point. Zero is no force, and 100 is max force. Next is camera event. This event is used just like the name implies, to select a camera. In the properties menu, go to select camera and pick the camera you want to use. Next is camera freeze event. This event is usually used to freeze the game camera at the end of a track. Let's open up the properties. The main thing we're concerned with here is step. A low step number will give you a smooth transition into freezing the camera over time. A higher number will freeze the camera immediately when the event is triggered. Next we have color event. This event has some additions in rising. Not only can you change the color, but now you can change the roughness and the emission of objects. First we have modify color. This option is checked by default, which gives us the color option below. This brings up a color picker that you can use to pick the color you want to change the object to. Next is modify roughness. Selecting this option brings up a slider that you can adjust the value of the roughness of an object from 0 to 255. And lastly, we have emissivity. This opens up a slider with adjustments from 0 to 255 as well. Once again, we have reset at checkpoint restart. Checked means the target will return to its original color if the router resets a checkpoint. And of course, select event target brings up a cursor so you can select which objects will be affected. The next event we'll talk about is the effect event. This event is used to activate effects. The properties in here are ones we've seen before. Select event target is how you choose the effect you want to activate. Next, let's go to light event. This is used to affect lights. In the properties menu, Type has the familiar on, off, and toggle. Next we have change light color option. This is used to change the color of the light emitted, not the light source. The normal color event would do that. With the change light color checkbox checked, the light color picker option comes up for you to select a color. The rest of these options should start looking familiar by now. We will use the select light objects option to pick our target light or lights. Now let's move on to the physics event. This event is used to activate or deactivate dynamic physics on any object that can have dynamic physics set. A new addition to this tool in Rising is also the ability to adjust the advanced physics type of an object. Under type, our options are on, off, and toggle, which will affect the dynamic physics of an object. But new to Rising is default, contact response, no contact response, and decoration only, which affects the advanced physics type of the object. Remember, we covered that in the Advanced Objects lesson earlier in the series. Next is the Variation Event. This event is used to change the variation of an object during gameplay. There are only a few differences in this event from other events. In the Properties, in place of Type, we have Variation. This is dependent on the type of object selected and the number of variations that object has. First, we need to select an object with the event target to get the variation slider to work. 
Now, the variation slider has the same number as the target object has variations. Reset at checkpoint works like the color event. Checked means the target will return to its original variation if the router resets at checkpoint. Time is used with animated objects. We will talk more about this in the characters lesson later in the series. Finally, the last event in this lesson is the visibility event. This is used to change the visibility of objects. In the properties menu, once again we see familiar options, but with one difference. Instead of on and off, we have visible and hidden. 